tales of a war unmatched scale and ferocity, like the witch never seen again. That's really loud. That's extremely loud. Hey, X. There we go. They burnt forest to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. Jeez, this got dark real quick. All right. <laughs> All right. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace, the goddess. Alright. The power she guarded was without equal. I'm assuming we're talking about the uh, Triforce here. Handed down by the gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the old ones placed in the care of the goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of evil swarming lands. The goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. Then, with the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. Alright. This is cool. I like this. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But, there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. So as you can see, brand new, brand spanking new save data. I got nothing here. I'm gonna play as Link. I always, I always liked being play, playing as Link, rather than creating my own name. Oh jeez. So, for those of you that don't know, that would be considered Ganon. And Ganon or Ganondorf, the main bad guy, has many different forms. And so you'd find, fight different forms in different games. And uh, I guess this one we're fighting the, uh, the beast version of Ganon. It's really cool, actually. Oh, fantastic. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I actually read the Hyrule Historia, which came out after Skyward Sword came out. I read that before even playing the game. Oh. 
So that's Zelda, our, uh, our princess. Oh, there we are. There's Big Batty. Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. So, the time has come for you to awaken. So, fun fact about uh, Legend of Zelda in general is that at the beginning of every game, I believe every main, main game of the series, Link actually is waking up from sleep. And that's like how every game, major game starts, is with him actually waking up. So this is no different. And in the timeline, this is actually first. So um, every other game, even the old Legend of Zelda game, like the original one, is further along in the timeline. It's really a contrived uh, system. But the creator, Miyamoto, he wanted to focus on gameplay and making a good game rather than worrying about the timeline, which is, I appreciate, because I'll play these games either way, and as long as they're good games, I'll keep playing them. But, let's continue on. So the time has come for you to awaken. Thank. He's a sleeper boy. S spits it out at him. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Yup. Rise and shine, Link. Today is the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. Look at this cute little note sending. Alright. Oh. Alright. Alright, that's my stamina bar. Move, hold B, roll. There we go. ZL to reset the camera position. Alright. I got that. Wow, romantic. I should wake you up with an <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> Have a giant bird come in and spit a note in my, in my face. Look around. Hold L and tilt R. Move the camera. What's this guy up to? Yeah. Morning, Link. Oh, this guy's. So, today's the wing ceremony. Ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him, too. My burn wasn't the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Alright. Oh, oh, this guy looks... I'll, um... Hey, Link, the day of the, the, day of the wing ceremony finally upon us. It's time to put on what you've learned to use, all those practical skills I taught you, and all the Academy prowess Instructor Horwell taught you. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using up? Press up when you want to take a look around at your surroundings. 
Oh yeah, cool. He is a very tall man. Hey! Link! What? If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way is out the door on the ground floor. The exit on the top floor is still locked, so obviously you can't get out there. What's taking the lunch lady so long? I'm gonna have a word with her later. Oh. Relax, bro. She's just doing her and do her job. Alright. Oh, this guy seems what's up? Good morning, Link. Today's the big wig ceremony, right? This guy's so shy. What a cutie. I wanted to fly too, but I I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Link, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. Yummy, yummy moving? I got you. I got you. This Link is deter- this Link's power lifter. It's my boy. I hope this is the kitchen. What happens when I run out of stamina? I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Now you can go cheer me on. The wing ceremony. Whatever the wing ceremony is. I'm assuming... I mean, I read what it is. I know what it is. Oh, that's not good. Come on. I hope that's the kitchen. Hold something above your head. You can throw it. You can also roll little things like pots. But we'll get in huge trouble if any of those barrels break, so don't even think about ro throwing or rolling them. If you forget any of this, just press side. That'll bring up an explanation of actions available to you at that moment in time. Pretty handy, huh? Yeah, it is, Fledge. It is quite handy. Alright, bring him to the old lady. So this is the kitchen, at least. That's nice. Hey, lady, what's up? Hey. What's all this? I thought I told Fledge to carry that. Bah, it's probably for the best. That skinny boy would probably have gotten flattened. Say, don't you have some important ceremony or such today? <laughs> well, thanks for the help. Hi, lady, jeez. I'm just trying to be a helpful man. <sighs> thanks, that was a huge help, Link. I know it's not much, but here's half of the pay the old lady offered me to do that. What'd I get? A red rupee. Thank you, Pot, for being in the way. With 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. I have to hang back and watch the academy today. Good luck with the ceremony, Link. Thank you. I'm gonna take this pot. I'm gonna throw it. I wanna throw. I wanna throw. Throw! Wow. Link's not even worrying. Why not throw pots yet? That's a further character development. Not right now. Yes. Yo. Good morning, dear Link. Today's finally the day, the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I like like to ask you about. Target me, and we can have a quick chat. A quick chat. That's always me getting up, getting in trouble for sure. There we go. Ooh. Excellent. Always remember, you can target someone to talk to them easily, and even when. There isn't anything to target. It's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from a distance. Why don't you come join me up here? All right, you should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Then you can make a jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. I got you, I got you, I got you. There we go. 
I got you. What's up? So, what are you up to? Bruh, all that just to say, what are you up to? <laughs> Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link. Oh? You have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she scampered off again. Look, over there, do you see her? Yeah. The Headmaster's so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony is about to start, and I just put in a fresh set of clothes, and, well, you see, will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? I got you. I got you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Fantastic. So you'll do it? I know I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there if you hang off the ledge there. You can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. I got you. Good guy gamer medic over here, you know what I'm saying? There we go. I can leap. Wait, how do I leap? Ah. Wait. There we go. Climb up this little thing. There we go. Meow. Push this box, guaranteed. And if I climb this box, I'll be able to jump up here. You, you come with me. What are you? What even are you? A cat thing? Oh. Oh. Nice work! You've brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please, tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should, up by, he should be up by the statue of the goddess. I gotcha. There's my little save point. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. Another red rupee. That's another 20 for your boy. And I got this little thing. This helps me save. Save. Select the save file. Yes. What's this guy up to? Oh, Helix. Morning, Link. How's life? Did you manage to even get a wink of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night, thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, these bird statues are all over Skyloft, and it's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. Not really, bud. Oh, I got a stamina fruit. This peculiar fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Gotcha. Only run up here. Zelda's around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. No headmaster, but you know, whatever. Find you a man that looks at you like. The way Link looks at Zelda. Oh, youth guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky. Bring light to the land. Hey, good morning, Link. I'm not even gonna bother with the Zelda voice. Glad to see my loft when you got to out, out of bed. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty sure you'd be sleeping. You, 
Hmm. You'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument. And look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. Yes. I mean, not like a main harp, but... And look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm gonna make a great goddess today. Wait, is she like 12? I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. Okay. <laughs> so, how do I look? Hmm. Are you gonna be good guy, Link? Are you gonna be good, good, good guy, Link? I think so. You look great. Ha! I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Link. She's got that confidence. Ah, ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, oh, hello, Father. Ah, uh, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Wishing he got up earlier to catch the before dressing up. <laughs> if you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. The post-race ritual. Alright. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Whoa, Zelda. Oh, that's a shot to the gut right there. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Loftwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Loftwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Loftwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, with the first meeting between Link and his lofting was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loftwing. It is a breed so rare, we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that loftwing of his first met? What a sight! This little boy just hopped on that bird and gracefully flew away, without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And by judging by how jealous you were on that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with the bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Ah, Link, just daydreaming away. Oh, what's wrong? Ah, uh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. No, oh, King? King's alive. How's it going, buddy? How you doing? Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> did 
This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is a part of the final test for the training to become Knights of Skyloft. No, you are? No, buddy, I'm still streaming. I, I haven't seen you in forever. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Link messes up on his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. I'm never on your time. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. That's fair. Listen, Link. You better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice before ta before the race. Come on. You'll thank me later. Oh, my goodness. I'm in UK. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. I just got to stream a little, a little later. Here we go. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having a practice. Nice try, Bree. You're not fooling me. Off you go! And she just... That is attempted murder. Okay, Link, go ahead. Just press down. Hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. What? Something's wrong! Yeah, Zelda! You almost murdered Link! <laughs> That's what's wrong. What have I been up to? Uh, this and that. I've been making some YouTube videos. I've been streaming, trying different games out. You know, this is that. I've been sleeping. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master. It's unheard of. Did you ask your mate about VR fitness work? I did. Yes, he said it was. He said it was good. He said it's a good way to good way to work out. Get some get some movement in. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link. When you said you you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you you should have. You should have believed me instead of trying to push me off. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You'd better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. I never text you back on Discord, buddy. I'm busy. I'm sorry, man. And not only am I busy, but I also forget things too. That's my bad. I sadly I I'm I can't constantly I I have a hard time messaging my own wife sometimes. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so I'm sorry. My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to see to him to see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. Alright. But father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks instructor Harwell, he'll probably just talk to, come talk to you about it. Ah, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Okay. All right. We gotta go find instructor Horwell. Link, I'm going to tend to my bird and make sure he's not hurt. I'll catch up with you later. Go and see if anyone in town knows what you what happened to your loft wing. Yeah. I go figure out who who did what to whom. Can I pick up this bush? No, I cannot. Anything? Nothing. Wow. You need a notebook or a blackboard? 
A notebook, yeah. Blackboard, I don't think that would help much, honestly. Are you done yet? Is something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your loft wing is missing. But I just saw him. Groose's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Which way? Uh, I think, uh, well, to be honest, I don't really know where they went. All right, thanks a lot. You're useless. Or well, I have to be off. What's wrong, Link? You're off. You're looking a little pale. What? Your locked wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You want to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on, hinges on feather. On feather or not, you can find the bird on time. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me. All right then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Thank you. I gotta, I gotta dip. I'm gonna save real quick. Right there. You bet. There we go. Alright, let's go find Mr. Loftwing. Child, check this out. Whoa! You did a sky stag beetle! Yeah. Wait up! I got you, guy. And a blue rupee. HOTD Season 2 now being making. What's HOTD? That's the real question. You got a blue rupee. It's with five rupees. Lucky find. Darn right. Anything on this one? Another one. Nice. What's this? Oh, it's just a, a wind turbine. Some health things. Ah, it's Groose and his troop. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do these voices. <laughs> you know, Groose, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loftwing like that was gonna go down with a, without a fight? But we got him. And I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be, he's not getting out of that t pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa, Link, so, uh, yeah. Just how long you been standing there? It's my bullies. <laughs> well, it's your problem anyway. Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish that with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Well, I'm, I'm ready to fight this man, what's up? <laughs> sure, only thing is, I don't know how you're going to do that with no bird. You gonna grow wings? You know we're all, you know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. oh. Zelda, hey, uh, nah, it's, uh... Uh-oh. Oof. Huh. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. 
Oh, why do you insist on bullying him around? Oh, wait. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you, uh... Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That would be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Oh, it's House of the Dragon. I get you. I get you. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft to see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horo about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. Must be nice having a bird that works. Or is there. <laughs> Alright. So I did get past this. I know where it is, luckily. Can you climb the ladder, please? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Leap, 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 leap. There we go. What's this say? But sound the goddess's song beneath the lights of radiance under a chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Alright, that's a lot of a lot of things. Can I just hop? Oh nope, definitely not. I can hop here though. There we go. How's the dragon season two? Yeah yeah. See, for me personally, I, I still haven't watched uh, Game of Thrones, so. I I am definitely not as much of a fan of dragons as you are. I'll give you that. I'll give it that much. <laughs> we saved up again. These ladies are just talking away. Oh, what are you what are you up to? Hi. Hi, Link. This house belongs to Kukeo. Psst, by the way, that's me. I'm gonna go play with my special friend today. It's gonna be so much fun. Alright. All right, let me do that. Uh, uh. Hey, yo. Oh. What's this guy up to? Look at this thing. Who knows how long this statue has been here? And it's only one eye, poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press up to look around. Oh, yeah. You're right. It only has one eye. Wow. Life changing. I actually need the sword first, I think, so I need to... Oh crap, I missed. Bless me! This is gonna be a Game of Thrones Jon Snow show? Jeez, they're really milking that... Milking that dry. Impressive. Oh. Ooh. I haven't... I don't think I've ever been up here. Or it's just a shortcut. Is just a shortcut to the... Oh yeah. To the academy? Oh, the, gates, the gate works now. I'm pretty sure... I need to hop down here to get the sword. Hey, Link! Over here! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here! All right, what's up? What can you tell me, my guy? Hey, Link, I was just looking for you. I heard your lost wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Oh. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. 
Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd be make sure that I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide them near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. Alright. That's it, right there. I think that it means the waterfall marked with the X. Alright. I get you. You know how to read a map, right? Oh, wow. <clears throat> press minus at any time to see a map of the area. If you get lost, just press minus. <sighs> Forgive me, Link. I can't help but being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Ah, whatever. I need to grab a sword. There's going to be an anime show. But that's in the bin. Oh, okay. Hey, big man. I need a sword, bro. Hey, it's Link! So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today's the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on in there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Ah, he's swinging around and... Cut things. <laughs> Give me one of these bad boys. Nope. Oh, in the chest. You got a practice sword. Students at the Knights Academy practice with these. It looks like it's fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Nice. Oh, speaking of which. And you get the item tracker going too. There we go. Alright, back at it. Hope you're doing well, Rennie. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, man. I am... I get to play Legend of Zelda, so it's a good time. Oh, I get it. That's gonna be difficult. All right. So I gotta use the, the stick to do everything. Instead of motion controls. Oh yeah, you wanna learn about how to use a sword? Yes, please. Okay, so the basics of swordmanship. It's important to think about the direction you're swinging your sword. If you swing it vertically, you'll do a vertical slash, and if you swing it sideways, you'll do a side slash. Thrust it forwards, and you get a thrust. Next time, there's a more advanced technique, the spin attack. It's the perfect move for when you're surrounded by enemies. If you think you- If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press Z the trigger. <laughs> to target an enemy as soon as you see it. Ooh. Try getting some good practice on those logs. If you get how to swing your sword, you can always check the help with the side button. Don't forget to your fundamentals. Once you've sliced up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try out the, your big move. All right. Yeet. Oh. Yeet. What? There we go. I just got got. The log got me. <laughs> and we got the diagonal. We got the other diagonal. And we got another guy. Yeah. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Yeah, I got you. Give me that spin attack, baby. Great! Now I'm gonna show, surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. What's the matter, Link? You don't seem your usual self. Stand in the center of a pack of enemies and swing your sword with just the right timing. That's how you do a real spin attack. You wanna try again? Yes, I, I got this. Left, right, left. There we go. Good one! That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Yeah. 
All right, when your enemy is down target and throw yourself at it with, to land with a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log and when it's down, try finish it off with this technique. Yay! Flick up, down, up. Nice, there we go. That's the way. After a fatal blow, a fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. Alright, cool. I need a dip, bro. I need a dip. Hey, Link! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? Listen, bro, I need this. What? Your loft wing is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging around like crazy out there. Man, I'm sneezing like crazy. I don't want you to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on those logs first, and when you go outside with a sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? You bet. I'm out of here. Now I'm out of here. I got that sword on me. I got that thing on me. Alright, now they got the sword. We can probably... Here we go. We can go back and we have to hit up the waterfall which is over here. Link's run is so goofy. It's over here. Oh. 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 Hey, yo. Pow, 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 pow. I want to cut this thing down. Darn. Nice. There we go. I'm cutting slices. I'm cutting slices. <laughs> oh, what we got going on over here? Cave. My loft wing. I got gotcha. I am a skilled swordsman, as you can definitely tell. Yay. Oh, what's up? I'm ready for you. Got that uppercut, baby. You got a green rupee. It's worth just one rupee, so collect lots of them. You better believe it. Oh, you got a monster claw. This extremely sharp claw looks painful to even touch. All right, I got a monster claw. Not sure if that's helpful or not, but I got one. That's some. Whoa, slime. So. Oh crap! Right here. Oh dang. You got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. All right. That's up in my inventory too. Nice. Up in oh! Got that uppercut on me. Don't mess with me. That's oh, just a regular bug. I don't know if I can get up there. Wait one sec. No. My guy can't climb like that yet. There we go. Just a bunch of other. Oh, I can climb this for sure. Hey, relax. Let me, let me do my thing. Here we go. Kick open a little chest here. All right, some red rupees, some hearts. 
You got a heart. This item's life-giving energy restores one heart of life. Alright, well, I don't need that. Because I'm too good at this game. Oh, my guy's running out of stamina. Link, don't be doing that. There we go. We're gonna save real quick. Definitely a good time to save. Ba -ba -ba hey. hey! Link! What's up, girl? Hey, Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around to help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Yes. Oh, no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang is, are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. How about you give me a ride? Huh. What? What's up, girl? Who? Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Alright, the voices are talking to her. That's cool. Are you coming with me? Zelda, don't be... Hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, oh. Look, there he is. Yeah, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, my guy. No doubt about it. That's your loft wing, Link. Yeah, it is. Okay, Zelda, you back, back out of the way. I got a sword knife. And I'm about to use it. There we go. Give me one of those. I, I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. There we go. My loft wing is freed. Oh. Dude, at the time this game was made, it was such good graphics. Even still, it's really not that bad. <laughs> hey, bro. It's no Epona, but we'll do. She'll be right. We should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? Nope. <laughs> nah, you gone crazy, girl. 